Vespa Primavera and Sprint Reviews. The first Vespa to bear the name Primavera, that's springtime to you and me, made its first appearance in 1968 and was revolutionary, small, agile, powered by a brilliant engine. Primavera placed wings on several generations and was produced without interruption until 1982, making it one of the widest commercial successes in Vespa history. Its new incarnation is a star in its own time, says Vespa, youthful, innovative, technologically groundbreaking, agile, and dynamic, with an eye to the protection of the environment, inheriting all the freshness and joy of living from its predecessor. The injection system has been optimized and improved in terms of efficiency, the ECU now has a barometric sensor that guarantees optimum combustion every time in any condition of use and at any altitude. The engines are now Euro 4 approved, and capable of performance at the top of the category, the I get 125 cubic centimeters claims a maximum power and torque of 10.6 HP at 7700 RPM and 7.7 .7 FTLB at 6000 RPM. The 150 cubic centimeters claims 12.7 HP at 7750 RPM and 9.4 FTB of torque at 6500. Smoothness, Vespa says has been greatly improved thanks to a crankshaft fully 24% heavier than before, which spins to life more quietly courtesy of a new starter motor. A new exhaust makes the engine quieter as well, while providing a more full and pleasant timber. The new Vespa Sprint is available in two versions, Vespa Sprint, with the 125 cubic centimeters displacement engine, and Vespa Sprint S, with the 125 and 150 cubic centimeters displacement engines, the latter sporting an attractive titanium gray color scheme with dedicated graphics and black painted rims. For Vespa Sprint 125 there are five color schemes, Rosso Dragon, Nero Lucito, Monte Bianco, Jalo Positano, and Blue Gola, all with a black saddle. Conceived as an evolution of the Vespa Primavera project and intended for young people of all ages, Vespa Sprint boasts a body that is small and lightweight, but also comfortable and protective, entirely made in steel and characterized by an extremely youthful line, marked by a gritty rectangular headlight and standing out for the large 12-inch wheels with spectacular aluminum alloy rims. Now I want one.